Okay, a simple, quick explanation. I hope it's, it's going to be quick about UV channels and vertex color. Now, let's say you have a rock, a building, or whatever, and you have a seam in it, or you want an additional material, uh, an additional texture showing up. Uh, let's actually show, show a scene. There we go. You can already see that there's a scene here. And well, there, let's say it's a case where you can do anything about it or whatever, because it's, it's a weird edge, it's a clean cut, or you can just not unwrap both together. You will have this scene, of course, and that can be quite annoying. So let's say we have a second UV channel. And in this case, instead of, let's say we have one like this, come on, there and like this, let's unwrap properly, oh. this can actually be totally ignored, it's all about this part, this is now clean. So you can't see it in 3ds Max, of course. And this will be your seam hider UV channel. So yeah, well, now you need the vertex color to actually show it in Unreal. So let's actually show the vertex colors. It should not be that visible at the moment, but once I start doing this, it should be quite visible. Let's make everything a red channel. There. And now select everything that's where the seam is. As you can see, here is the seam. So let's make this another vertex color. In this case, I'm going to go for green. There. And I'm going to export this for Unreal Engine. Export vertex color, whatever. Save as and uh, export. Sorry, export. And let's do it on a desktop because. Okay. Um. Foot color. Michael. Michael, know what's up? Hmm? Michael. Okay. Uh. Let's do it in here. I'm gonna import it. Desktop. Please don't crash because 4.14 tends to crash with weird stuff. Actually, let's import the textures. Saves me some time. Though, then again, it's quite a big texture, so it might take a bit longer than just manually importing it. But, ah, there we go. Here's the mesh again. With the seam. You can see that's a different tiling there. And different in checkers. There we go. An additional UV channel here. And accidentally created the light map UV channel, but let's ignore that one. Okay, let's make a material. Material. Uh, UV channel third color thing with M underscore at the beginning, of course. There we go. Uh, let's get this thing going here. And uh, let's select this mesh for here. Just to be sure, let's save everything. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, let's focus on each there. Now, if you just plug this into the base color, uh, let's make the roughness a bit less annoying. And I hit the grid. You can see that there is a seam here. So let's make sure that that seam is gone. Okay, another UV. Uh, texture sample, the same one. I'm going to change the UV channel, this to the seam hider channel. Plug it in. Get a vertex color node. I'm going to multiply with a red channel and multiply with a green channel. I'm going to add those together. And just to show you what's going on, let's actually get two colors going. This is going to be the red channel. This is going to be the green channel. Uh, multiply with the green channel. Uh, 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 go 
here, multiply with the red channel, and the result will be this. You see my ratio now. Now let's replace that with actually the channels in here. And there you go, your scene is gone. And if you wanted to do this with two materials, you would have two drum calls. And this is only a few instructions. And you can go as far as have up to eight UV channels with a lot of vertex coloring. And yeah, that's it. Keep in mind that for normal maps, you want to use the UV zero, else you'll have some weird artifacts occasionally. But that's something totally different, and I'm not going to go into that now, because it's already taking me six minutes. <laughs>